Straight line backing Straight tips. Straight line backing is probably the most important backing maneuver because all other maneuvers at some point end up in straight line backing. And the actual success of your straight line backing starts before you go put the truck in reverse. It starts on the pull up, how you set yourself up. When you pull in through the lane, you actually need to look back in the mirror to check your position in the lane. You wanna make sure you're in the middle of the lane and as straight as possible on your pull up. Now you pull forward into the rear of your trailer, exits the lane until it's on the front side of the cones, and then you stop. Now, here's a tip. When you're backing up, when you look in your mirror, instead of looking at the very rear of the trailer, look at the trailer on top of the drive axis or your tractor, where I'm pointing now. Since the drive axle, drive axle wheels are always one in front of the other, you can see when the trailer starts to turn one, one way or the other, you can see that immediately. <clears throat> and you turn towards the problem. Small movements. Always keep the truck rolling. As you see, the driver, he's turning wherever the back of the trailer, the direction is going, he turns the wheel that direction. And he's straight, straighten the wheel immediately. And you, and you gotta keep your head on the shoulder, back and forth. Looking at the rear of the trailer, looking at the, the trailer on top of the drive, uh, drive axle tires, so you can catch the movement immediately. If you just look to the rear of the trailer to determine what way it's turning, by the time you see it turning, you will have too much bend in your truck and trailer and you have to turn more. So if you glance at that spot on top of your drive tires, you can see immediately when it starts turning one way or the other and you have the best chance of correcting it as swiftly as possible. Like I said, don't stop. I see a lot of students, they stop rolling backwards. And when you stop rolling backwards, for some reason, you continue to turn the steering wheel and then you oversteer. Keep the truck rolling backwards so you won't oversteer. You can't see the way you need to turn if you're not moving. When you at